What do we got here today, Christy? Okay, so today we are transplanting our tomato plants that we started on April 1st. We have red prison Romans. It's been two weeks and five days, and they're baby. So we um, are going to put them in individual cups, and then we're going to put them in the house. Mm, I don't know what you maybe a week, maybe two, before we take them down to the high tunnel. Whenever it's, yeah, a week, so we'll be ready to go down there, and if the weather's cooperating, we'll be fine to do that. So we'll get this started, and I'll show you how we do it. Okay, so we just take a cup and put a little soil in it. These are pretty big, so I just take a, a like a pencil. You can use a, here I have like a little kebab stick. You can use a chopstick, anything that just helps you loosen the roots up at the base of it. And these have nice root systems. Probably want to go deep with these because they've got a lot of stem now already. They have a lot of stem. <laughs> These got big. They could have been done a little while ago. It got really cold here. It got down to snowed oh, yesterday. Snowed yesterday. It's in the you know it was freezing this morning and it's going to be for the next two days. So we um, are just in a waiting place to uh, wait till the weather warms up and we can take take everything down to the high tunnel. These all right, so we ended up with 10 trays, and Andrew labeled everything, and he watered all of the trays, and we'll take you inside now, and we'll show you how our plant stands are set up. Okay, so here we are in our living room. We have three plant stands set up in here. This first one here, we've had the longest. We've had that about 10 years. My dad gave that one to us, and it holds 16 trays. Two of those trays of tomatoes that we just transplanted, we put in here. The bottom row has a lot of peppers and some basil, and the two middle rows it has so, quite a few herbs and flowers. I have some fennel and more basil and flowers. Top row, those two on the left are tomatoes, and the two on the right are some pepper plants that we've had for a while, um, but hopefully we can put down in the high tunnel soon. So that is this stand, and then there's little Arthur on the couch. He, he's pretty happy when he's on the couch. And this is the flip side of that. Um, it just gives you a little bit of different perspective. And uh, again, it holds 16 trays. Okay, this tray we just set up yesterday. This is uh, the one we were trying to avoid having to set up, but it's just too cold. So we bought the uh, lights at Walmart yesterday. These are actually LED lights. We've never used those before, but hopefully they'll work just fine. These are the tomatoes we just transplanted, and they're doing pretty good. They were a little droopy right after we planted them, but they're slowly starting to, to perk up underneath the lights. The bottom here, I have some seeds that I'm sprouting. We are low on space, as you know, as we've mentioned, and so this way I'll know which seeds are viable, and I can uh, just put them right into transplant cups. So that'll be fun. I've never done that before, but we are low on space, so I decided to try that this year. And uh, so that's what we have here in these trays. Uh, if you can get a little closer look, you can see the tomatoes. They oh, I guess there's a little basil in there as well that we need to transplant still. Um, you can see that they're, they're starting to perk up. It, it's a little hard on them at first, but they generally bounce back pretty quickly. And uh, after Andrew gave them some water and put them under the lights, they're doing pretty well. Here's our third plant stand. This one is almost all peppers. And uh, I think we ended up with 12, uh, 12 trays of peppers. So we have quite a few uh, colored bells. And we didn't, even, we didn't even plant green this year. We just have red and orange and, and yellow bells. And then we have quite a few hot peppers in here. Uh, so hopefully these are the ones again that we can move down to the high tunnel soon and they're looking pretty good they've uh, I think we started most of these on March 16th so they're pretty far along they're doing pretty well hopefully soon they can they can head down to the high tunnel and I just wanted to give you an idea of how we have these things set up inside and uh, when we designed our living room, we made it so we can move a lot of things around. We, we designed it for the wheelchair, so it's been helpful with these plant stands. We can move the couches wherever, and we have quite a bit of space that we can work with to, to set these plant stands up. So that is the view from our living room. There's a little closer look at the bells. You can see they're, they're growing pretty well. And our first, our, our last frost typically is sometime, it, we feel pretty safe around May 12th. So... Hopefully soon those, those can go down to the high tunnel. We can start hardening them up down there and get them in the ground in the next three weeks or so. So yeah, this is the view from our living room. So thank you for taking the time to uh, watch our video and we will hopefully catch you next time. Thank you.